We'd like to congratulate you on being an RN. Are you ready to move on to bigger and better things? Uh, this is just a test. One, two, three. Did you like school? Well, whether you did or not, we need you to go back just for a little bit more and get a little more education. Do you have years of critical care experience? Because that's what you're going to need to get this job done. Okay, last chance. Are you ready to move on? Be bigger, better, stronger than you ever were before? Here it comes. Disaster nursing can be defined as the adaptation of professional nursing skills in recognizing and meeting the nursing physical and emotional needs resulting from a disaster. The overall goal of disaster nursing is to achieve the best possible level of health for the people and the community involved in the disaster. The World Health Organization defines a disaster as an occurrence of a severity and magnitude that normally results in death, injuries, and property damage that cannot be managed through the routine procedure and resources of government. FEMA has its own definition, which states a disaster can be defined as an occurrence either nature or man-made that causes human suffering and creates human needs that victims cannot alleviate without assistance. If you're looking for a cushy, low-stress office job, disaster relief probably won't work for you. You need to be able to work long hours in challenging conditions, often without access to regular communications or creature comforts, sometimes in remote areas. Training in areas such as search and rescue, safety issues, or emergency management are valuable for disaster relief jobs, as is education and experience in medicine, construction, or agriculture. Build a resume, document each of your volunteer experiences and include specific tasks or responsibilities you have performed. Emphasize specialized training and education related to disaster relief. The role of nurse in disaster management. The role of the nurse is to facilitate preparation within the community to provide updated records of vulnerable populations in the community. Nurse leads a preparedness effort. Nurse plays multi roles in community, and the nurse should have understanding of community resources. Disaster nurses must be involved in community organization. The role of the disaster nurse to facilitate preparation within the community, to provide, update, record of vulnerable populations within that community. Nurses should lead a preparedness effort. Nurses play a multi-role in the community. Nurses should have understanding of the community resources, and a disaster nurse must be involved in the community and the organization. Nurses can receive disaster management education through certificate programs in emergency nursing can be vocational in nature and cover the exact skills and theories put into practice by the nurses in the, in the emergency room. Courses may include patient assessment, emergency room staffing, stabilization of injuries, wound treatment, disaster nursing, environmental disasters, pediatric emergencies, and psychiatric emergencies. Disaster drills. A disaster drill is an exercise in which people simulate the circumstances of a disaster so that they have an opportunity to practice their responses. Disaster training will go on, will never end. You're going to train and train and train until your day comes. 
Here's what you can expect your role to be as a disaster service worker. As a triage nurse, this may be the most important piece of paper you'll ever see. This is the one piece of paper that can mean life or death to hundreds or thousands of people, and it's all on your shoulders. This is where you will work for, for weeks or longer. Welcome home. Flexibility, a positive, a positive attitude of cooperation and a willingness to go with the flow are critical during times of disaster. If you want to volunteer, there are several agencies that offer, offer opportunities for advanced training in disaster preparedness. Below I've list, listed some websites that uh, you may find come in handy if you're interested in being uh, becoming a disaster nurse or volunteering. Remember though, volunteers should be able to handle strong emotions such as shock, panic, and anger. Deployments can last weeks at a time and living and working conditions can be very taxing. Work days are long and stressful. You must be in good physical condition. Disaster nursing is not for everyone. They say it's a calling with few material rewards. The reward is knowing you helped people and potentially saved lives in times of tragedy. Okay, just remember, this just might be your office. I don't see a refrigerator. I don't see a fax machine. I don't even see a Pixis. This, not even a break room. This is all there is. Other considerations are things like cultural sensitivity. You may be sent somewhere where the culture is very different than your own. Clothes, tone of voice, eye contact, the way you address people, all the things to take into consideration. Sometimes you won't even speak the same language as the other people that you're there to help. You've probably got the message by now that there will be no phones, no family, and most likely no pay. And as we've said before, the reward is meeting and helping people from all different countries and cultures and getting the perspectives on their life. That's your reward. Okay, when you go to the ICU, you get two patients. You go to med surge, you get five patients. Take a guess how many patients you're going to have working here. Okay, one last important point that I want to stress. When signing up to volunteer for disaster deployment, it is so important that you be honest with yourself and the organization that you're applying um, about your level of skill and expertise. Overstating your capabilities can have far-reaching negative consequences.